I am now going to demonstrate the process of gold refining with various steps involved and also the gold bar manufacturing process. To start with, the raw material, which is either door gold or old jewelry or nuggets, which is to be refined, is first assayed by cupellation method using cupellation furnace, wherein it is ensured that gold content is primarily above 65%. And silver content is known, which is very important to secure the selection of right process of refining. If silver is less than 10%, the normal aqua regia process is to be followed for refining gold. Whereas more silver content needs certain steps to be followed, like inquartation process, nitric acid dissolution, and then aqua regia process. We have also developed a specific technology to process silver contents up to 18% directly by aqua regia process. After assaying, the raw material, which is impure gold, is melted in an induction furnace. After melting, it is granulated in the granulating unit, which is the form of grains or flakes to be fed to the aqua regia reactor. The aqua regia refining plant comprises of steps. Mix acid, that is, aqua regia reaction, as the first step, where an impure alloy is dissolved. Steam or heating is used as a step to enhance reaction and ensure good efficiency. This aqua regia reactor is connected to a fume scrubber, which takes care of neutralizing toxic fumes of acid, mainly NOx generated due to nitric acid and also hydrochloric acid vapors. Silver gets converted to white silver chloride crystals, which are filtered in the silver chloride filter, and once it is ensured that entire silver chloride is filtered. Then these silver chloride crystals from the filter are collected and accumulated. These are then cemented in silver cementation unit, where it is reduced by a mixture of sodium hydroxide and glucose. The cemented silver is filtered, casted into anode bar, and is refined to pure silver of 999 quality in electrolytic silver refining setup. The exhaust liquids after filtration of silver and those from electrolytic refining plant are also collected in exhaust liquid storage tanks. Clear gold chloride solution is transferred to another reactor, where sodium metabisulfite is charged in as a reducing agent. This will then precipitate gold from the solution. This is monitored by good pH control and viewing glass reactor for the right change in color. The cemented gold is then filtered in the gold filter until it is ensured that entire gold is collected. This wet gold is 999.5 quality and the liquids left out are transferred to exhaust liquid storage tanks. Pure gold of 999.5 quality filtered from aqua regia refining plant, if it needs to be further purified, should pass through the process of electrolytic gold refining in order to get 999.9 .9 purity. All the exhaust liquids are collected in storage tanks, are passed through three tanks by overflow systems, and then primarily in the first stage, copper is cemented, which is filtered and collected for further refining. The exhaust liquids after copper cementation are treated with alkali solution mixture of calcium and sodium hydroxide. These metallic hydroxies are sedimented which are filtered in a filter press and then after clear water is discharged to drain. The pure gold sand of 999.5 generated from the aqua regia process is first dried in an oven or it can be pure gold of 999.9 .9 from electrolytic process. This gold is then melted in an induction furnace, where after it follows the process depending on the configuration of gold bar desired. For gold bars up to 100 GMS configuration, the molten gold is collected in a pre-designed mold for the desired configuration in strips. These gold strips are then passed through the rolling mill, where the rollers are set to get the right thickness of the strips getting converted to sheets. 
These sheets are then passed through the cutting press with set of punchings so that gold blocks are cut as desired. These gold blocks are then annealed to remove oxides by a flame and then cooled and cleaned. The shining gold bar is then put on the stamping press to number and configure the desired mark or logo. For gold bars above 100 GMS up to kilobar configuration, the molten gold is collected in a pre designed mold for the desired configuration. This is then cooled in the cooling table where bar is formed. A burner flame is used in order that oxides are not formed. This is mainly an annealing step, and then the gold bar is cleaned. The shining gold bar is then put on the stamping press to number and configure the desired mark or logo. At all the steps, weighments are done and adjustments are done by filing to suit the exact weight.